Hi guys, Sherry here from No Prex Skin Crew. How's it going? Alright, so I got a slightly different setup here. I'm playing with different camera angles, so I got a longer tripod. Um, so again, let me know what you think. So this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading for November the 20th until the 28th. So I'm going to be doing a crystal ball. Alright, so for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's a 5x5 five five grid uh, with four cornerstone cards which represent the main energy in the reading uh, and then one center card which represents um, the main message from the universe. Uh, so it's a 5x5 five five grid um, with the distant past, recent past, um, present, near future, and final outcome. So. Uh, this will be directed um, from the Divine Masculine. Uh, so, you know, as a collective, this is what they will be vibrating with, the frequency they're vibrating with. Okay, so let me just give it another quick shuffle here. Whoa, nice, the Ten of Pentacles. So that represents a long-term vision or goal manifested into the 3D reality. So I know I did the reading yesterday for the Twin Flames, but I'm pretty sure the Ten of Pentacles kind of showed up there. I can't remember where. Alright, so beginning with the first cornerstone card, Distant Past, is the Temperance card. So the Temperance card uh, could represent the ultimate union card for Twin Flames, but it represents the masculine um, being in the state of balance, being in the now, um, being in this moment, um, but it's like he's trying to balance all areas of his life, you know, the physical, the mental, the emotional, and spiritual. So as a main energy, cornerstone card, um, patience, temperance, you know, is a very heavy energy very important energy. Okay, next is the Judgment card. Wow, two major arcanas in a row. So the Judgment card is uh, like a, an aha moment. You know, it's making a major realization about your life um, or it could also represent making a judgment call about something. So it's reviewing your life, you know, seeing where you've made mistakes, see where changes can be made, um, and, you know, completely create a different reality for, for yourself. Um, you know, your life is just a movie projected on the screen in your own mind, so you create the characters, the plot, you know, why not make it, you know, an exciting action adventure movie or something like that, I don't know. So he's had a life review. He's been in a state of peace and you know really seeing how he's been controlled or manipulated by rules constrictions you know society uh, that kind of thing the five of wands so this is overcoming obstacles and challenges so minor challenges minor obstacles differencing of opinion competition so very strange for it to show up, you know, right beside two major arcanas. It's like, it's almost like a feeling of, you know, I, I realize now that the things that I thought were huge obstacles are now just minor, you know, and, you know, they hardly require any kind of energy or effort. It's, it's just, you know, it's like, what am I putting my energy into? Um, I might as well be living my life, you know, the way I want it, freely. Um, so it's like he's rewriting his reality here. Okay, next is the Four of Cups. So this is disconnect and boredom, um, stagnation, um, feeling like things just aren't moving. And it's a longing energy. So... You know, this is coming in the distant past, 
right besides the obstacles and challenges. So I, I think it's just showing how you've been in this reflective state. You know, time has almost stood still, or it did stand still. You've made realizations during this pause, um, and you're kind of looking back to the past as well. There, there's a timeline running from the past to the pre uh, future in this direction as well. So there's, you know, this transition here. Um, so the pause over here is a lot different than a pause over here. This is a longing or kind of turning away from a connection. Now there is a feminine angel being represented as a cornerstone. So that could very well be the divine feminine. You know, and the masculine over here is, you know, kind of seeing how maybe he's disconnected his heart, you know, because this is a, a either a closed off heart or just a longing heart. Um, but final cornerstone card for the distant past is the Eight of Wands. So, wow, um, communication was really big in the masculine's past. Um, so here it's showing up again. The masculine got the throat shocker t uh, twice in the past. So either there was communication, um, you know, this is Cupid's arrows. It's very positive energy, higher vibration. It's accelerated motion as well. So things are speeding up. So as a cornerstone card, we have this sudden desire to reach out and communicate you know, from being in this stagnant energy, you know, it's almost like he was kind of going downhill. There was stillness and illumination. And then it's like, you know, suddenly, you know, there's this mourning or longing energy. So then, you know, there's a him reaching out if he hasn't reached out. Um, it is, it's a desire to reach out. And I say that, you know, because this longing here, it's like, it's almost like he's turning his back on the phone calling, but I don't know. You know, okay, let's move on. All right. So in the recent past position, eight of cups. So this is moving on. So this is walking away from emotionally draining situations. Okay. So this is a pilgrimage as well. So it's, you know, um, you're on a journey to discover yourself. But it's leaving eight cups behind, right? And those are a lot of cups that were filled. And so this is a, a very big move or a big uh, choice to make. But the decision was finally made to move on. So it's right below the temperance card and this masculine energy is walking towards it. So I'm actually going to pull one um, confirmation card here. or a clarifier, I should say. What do you mean by the Eight of Cups? A coward. Okay, so, you know, maybe he's walked away, you know, maybe some masculines are feeling like they are a coward for kind of turning their back on some people that they loved in their life, or, you know, maybe they're just kind of hiding you know, on some level. Okay, so next is the Seven of Cups. So we got Eight and a Seven of Cups, and then over here, Four. So this Cups energy is all about emotions. Uh, so this is Dorothy, Wizard of Oz, looking for her yellow brick road. Um, you know, so it's a very confused energy, um, feeling lost knowing you want to get home or knowing you want a certain goal but not knowing how to get there so you know in the recent past there is this clouded energy um, confusion but there's a sense that he may have walked away from something in a cowardly way um, okay next is wow the solar plexus chakra so repeated theme from yesterday the masculine was lacking in confidence, and you can see that five of wands lack energy there, but it does increase to the eight of wands, so there's, a, there's this 
you know, highs and lows. Um, so the solar plexus chakra is strength, courage, confidence, your, your will. So it's right below the five of wands, right? And that's all, all about not feeling confident in yourself. Um, wanting to stand out in the crowd. Uh, you feel like you got to prove yourself to somebody somewhere. Okay, so next is the Ten of Wands. Wow. So the, this is like a fiery explosion. Okay, it's like collapsing in exhaust, exhaustion. Uh, so this is being trapped in the machine. So you're, you're working yourself to the bone, basically um, carrying all the burdens. Um, you feel like you have no one to turn to to help you and you probably wouldn't ask for help even if it was there, you know, offered to you. It's like, it's almost like this victimization kind of role. It's, um, like you, you're, you're trying to prove something to somebody. Uh, do you know what I mean? It, I'm, I'm saying that because of all the energy that's kind of surrounding you in the past, there's A lot of confusion and power struggles and you know and, and it feels self-inflicted to me so I'm gonna pull one clarifier for the ten of wands it's like you collapse in exhaustion and even though you don't know where you're going you know you, you can't stay here anymore it's, I'm kind of hearing a song in my head but I don't know what it's Called. Okay, what do you mean by the Ten of Wands? Confusion or delay? Okay, so, you know, maybe he tried to delay something, hold off on something. I'm not too sure. Oh my god, I'm so OCD. Okay, stay there. Alright, so next is wow the queen of cups so a feminine energy could be water sign but i always see all the queens as the divine feminine so this is the feminine who is being represented as being loving um deeply loving and this card actually showed up in the feminine's um past position so this heart connection is there so it's like you've been tossing and turning a Thinking about how, you know, you may have walked away from the feminine in the past and may have de did it in a cowardly way and you kind of just don't know where you're, you're heading. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're confused, you're exhausted, you're tired and you're thinking of her. So that eight of wands, um, there's this desire to communicate and it's, you know, I don't know, it's. Hold on one moment. Sorry about that. Okay, so, um, what was I saying? So there seems to be this emotional tugging at the masculine. Um, thinking about the feminine a lot to the point where it's you know, hard to sleep or hard to relax. He feels like he's lacking in strength. Okay, so um, what is in the present position? Wow, the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, so the Queen of Pentacles is could represent Earth energy, um, very grounded, successful, independent, uh, enjoys luxury, and she's also you know very earthy, motherly like. She's um, she provides a, a stable home, but she's also very successful and she nurtures everyone. So um, this is also the 3D queen, the one you can hold and feel and caress. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is movement forward, but it's very slow, steady, calculated, planned steps. 
uh, in the night always rhymes at his destination. So two earth energies side by side here. Um, and earlier the Ten of Pentacles jumped out. So if in the present position, the masculine is moving towards the feminine in the 3D is what I'm feeling here. Um, he's working towards a goal. You know, it's 3D manifestation. Okay, so the next card is going to be the main message from the universe. Wow, the hermit. Uh, so this showed up as a final outcome for the Twin Flame reading on the masculine side. Um, so this is solitude, but this is somebody who's been in solitude for some time and they've gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge. Um, they are completely disconnected from the 3D. Uh, and you can see that progression in the past, right? This is a review of the life and seeing how you've been chained. Um, and here, you know, here is that unchaining, uh, but it wasn't done in a very, in your mind, you could have handled things better, I guess, I don't know. Um, and so it's almost like you're coming back to the 3D reality, you're uh, coming out of, out of that solitude state. You know, and I say that because of the, the night here. This is movement forward, but you're moving forward in this unattached way. So let's see what else shows up. Wow, the chariot, major arcana. So this is movement forward, taking control of your life, having confidence. Like here, you get all that confidence, that strength, that courage to overcome any obstacles that are standing in your way. And here, we were talking about those obstacles in the past, right? You disconnected, you've moved on, but you haven't fully, um, you were, you know, kind of drawn back into the past, into these thoughts. So it's a beautiful energy. This is water energy. Um, so it has to do with your emotions, doing things that make you happy. So movement forward, you, you, you feel like you or gaining confidence and momentum. So we have two knights here with the solitude card right in the middle. Um, you know, it's like there's this movement. It, you know, it was very slow and then it's quickening, right? Um, so it's like here we have that solitude, but then you kind of jump out of this non-movement into action. All right, next is three of wands awesome so you're, this is overcoming challenges and obstacles and feeling successful and you know getting a, a thumbs up from the universe so in the present moment the masculine is feeling successful right and this card is also about uh, taking the lead uh, forming partnerships and alliances Right. And so it's right below the Queen of Cups. Um, I love how it's always kind of ending on a positive note, positive vibration, right? It's uh, a lot of hope and exhilaration for the future is what I'm seeing. Okay, so near future is, wow, the the king of wands. So this card showed up as a final outcome on the feminine side for the twin flame reading. Um, and I was really feeling that the masculine is finding his strength, his courage, his confidence. And here we see the masculine kind of stepping into that role. So fire sign, but this is, you know, someone who's very powerful, a leader, the first male court card in the reading. Um, spirituality so this is someone who would lead a revolution right this is Brad Pitt uh, from Fight Club so unchained free spirit um, a leader the tennis art so this showed up in the present p uh, position for the twin flame reading for the masculine so um, there was a repeated theme that was shared throughout that reading and it was all about endings completely um, cutting away 
those you know those things that are kind of holding you back those those fears those um, chains what have you so this 10 is a completion and ending to feeling like you've been stabbed in the back and left for dead basically so it's a dark night of the soul but it's the end of that so very cool how we can see this journey taking place right there's that epiphany realization but then confusion but you kind of get back up and you continue moving forward one step at a time and it eventually it leads to this final stage um, that requires a great deal of strength uh, so yeah something big is going to be completing in the near future wow throat chakra there it is so this card kept on showing up um, on the masculine side in the past but now it's showing up in the, the near future so you know, it's right lined up with the hermit, with the strength, these obstacles. There's this disconnected energy, if you look at this row, like so. Uh, and so these are both communication cards. Eh? So the decision that you made in the past, um, it feels like it's coming full circle and coming to completion. So it's like you overcome your fears, you step into this powerful role that it comes from spirituality um, and it comes from solitude but the solitude is a, a, a major journey right here we have that be beginning of the pilgrimage uh, to to find himself and the road led towards love right the queen of cups oh, I know I know I shouldn't have touched it Oh, the fuck are you? Okay. Um, and so it was that initial moving on, okay, causing um, a great deal of burden, but you continued on. You took those steps, right? And it got you to this beautiful, illuminated state, right? The, the hermit, very wise soul. And so they actually share their wisdom. With others so that is a message from the universe that you have acquired this soul growth right and you're ready now to move forward with whatever it is that you that makes you happy right I got a person who's surfing here uh, and they're using the surfboard to control themselves right and manipulate the board uh, through the vortex of life basically right so um, this is going after those goals, but it's pure confidence and will determination to make shit happen. Okay, very similar ener energy here, but this is a very fast um, movement, both balancing, by the way, right? This guy's on a tight wire rope, uh, so it's very slow movements where this guy is manipulating his environment, um, but very similar. And this is unchained, and this is unchained, so is this. So freedom is on the masculine's mind, but it seems like he's coming back from a darkness. Next is, wow, three of swords. So whatever this is that he's ending is something that he needs to communicate, and, and it's going to either hurt himself or hurt somebody uh, that he loves um, right and so he's dealing with a broken heart in the near future um, but it's like he needs to do this right this broken hearted energy is kind of standing in the way of his success right here we got the four cups turning away uh, a closed off heart and it kind of escalates to a broken heart at some point. Three of Swords is more of a mental thing though. Okay, next is the judgment or sorry, the justice card. So this is another karmic energy. Um actually the first karmic energy that, that you have here, but uh the other one is a wheel of fortune but you don't have. Uh but the justice card is cause and effect. So what you put out you get back. And that's exactly what I was just saying here, right? There's this vibration of turning away and 
it is standing in your way in the future. So this um, is something that maybe you've been putting off, perhaps. Um, and I definitely feel that energy, but I was just noticing here that we have that Queen of Cups in the past below karma. So I don't know, maybe what goes around comes around or I don't know, but there is pain uh, experienced by somebody. But here it doesn't feel to me like it is the masculine who's feeling it because it is the King of Wands who would be powerful enough to cut away something that he knows is going to hurt somebody, but it is a just decision. He's being encouraged, right? The Three of Wands is keep going, you're doing great, right? And, and same thing with the Eight of Wands, this is putting out positive vibrations and having that manifested. So very positive vibrations on in this row, but the row beside it is not so happy. So I'm almost feeling masculine energy here for sure, very strongly feminine energy here. So again, there's a sense of positivity in the future decisions that you are making masculine is affecting your future in a very beautiful way but you know that there's um something that i guess needs to end okay so final row final our cornerstone card whoa 11 11 card so twin flame connection um the temperance card is the ultimate union card for twin flames right so the souls recombining becoming one so the cornerstone, cornerstone card up there is a feminine energy, patience, waiting, balance. As a final outcome, we have a manifestation of a twin flame connection. And it is, you know, right below that king of wands, queen of pentacles. So it's like he's moving towards the feminine in the 3D. And it's like he cuts away his fears of having his heart broken and communicates and, and that ultimately opens this door to the twin flame. So everything comes back full circle. Next is, wow, seven of pentacles. So, you know, the feminine got this in the past position for the twin flame. And so this represents waiting for harvest, waiting for the ships to come in. And so what I feel strongly here is a manifestation, right? It's like here we have the knight moving towards her, completes a stage, and then arrives. Um, you know, this is, this is harvest, or you're about to reach your goal. You're about to step off that rope. So that is coming in in the present position. So there's movement forward and it's like he arrives, right? With the seven pentacles. It could also mean that there's still more waiting. Um, but I, you know, there's that patience waiting energy with the twin, twin flame connection here. Um, it's, you know, that full cycle, cause and effect. Okay, next is, wow, Nine of Pentacles. Oh my God, so Spirit just confirmed that it is harvest. The Nine of Pentacles is whatever you've been waiting for is manifested, but you have it in abundance. Um, you have so much flowing into your life that you are able to splurge a little on yourself. So this is ripeness, readiness. The fruit is dropping from the branches. So boom manifestation wow that's exactly what i was predicting here it's like he arrives whatever you were waiting for it arrives and it's because of this communication wow third eye chakra so uh third eye chakra is actually a really big um theme on the feminine side for the twin flame reading and here we have the queen of cups who is intuitive However, I think you reach this point of illumination where you're using your intuition to guide you. Um, you feel in your soul that this is right. Do you know what I mean? And this wasn't serving you. You can see how you feel very grounded, very complete and successful. And it's, um, it's like, 
you know, an arrival moment with the twin flame connection. You look within yourself and you know that this is right. So it's almost like this uh, spiritual celebration or something. I don't know. It's really strange. Okay, so final cornerstone card. Wow, lover's card. Crazy energy. Very cool how it's showing up um, right below the queen of uh, cups here. So, you know, we got that eight of wands, which is the cupid's arrow, sending out love and vibrations. Um, and it's like you're sending it out to the one that you love. Um, and that kind of activates you on some level to overcome these fears and you manifest this connection into reality. However, the lover's card does represent more longing energy. So I feel there's this need to reach out, take the lead, connect. Um, and if you do, if you um, are able to open up your heart, right, and overcome those fears, it's like um, this love is manifested into the 3D. This, this twin flame connection is manifested into the 3D. For some twin flames, not for all, of course. All right, so I'm going to pull one card from Myths and Mermaids. So this will be the final message from the universe. What final messages do you have for the masculine? Shipwreck Siren. Huh. Did we get that last week? I don't know, it just seems really familiar to me. Okay, so number 40. Oh, right. So it says, Sing to me, siren, of those lustfully depraved, of gluttony, excitement, and vanity displayed. Sing to me, siren, of excess and greed, of, sloth, so, bleh, of slothful indulgence and heady need. Sing to me, siren, of debauchery and fame, of riches and shiny things. I'll stand fast yet again. So a deceptive siren smiles gently at her victims. Behind her, however, we see her true intentions. She has lured an unsuspecting ship's crews toward the jutting rocks of her island. She tests the wills of those she seeks and takes advantage of the weak and undisciplined. So the meaning is exercise your discipline. Soon your willpower will be tested. Exactly. With that chariot, you feel that your willpower is being tested for sure. Um, and you overcome. There's no doubt about it. So, um, soon your willpower will be tested and you will have to employ great discipline to make it through the rough seas ahead. There you go. Use your surfboard, guys. Um, so just like Ulysses was tested by the siren song, you shall have to steel yourself against great temptation. This is a time to prove to the world that you are made of stronger stuff and can withstand whatever is thrown your way. Maintain a strict schedule, moderate your consumption, curb your appetite, and be prepared to be tested when you're least expected. Take some time to contemplate the vices you're most susceptible to and where you might be weak. If you maintain discipline, focus, and dedication to your goals and ideals, you will sail through the, the tough times with your head held high and you will be a stronger, healthier person because of it. Yeah, exactly. You know, I feel that very strongly here, right? Get on that surfboard. Hold your head high with confidence and strength. You can do this. Whatever it is you need to overcome, you can do it. And you will be successful at it, no doubt. Wow, very synchronistic reading, I got to say. Very powerful. All right, so um, please leave your comments. Uh, and thank you for your likes and shares. And if you haven't subscribed yet please show your love all right cheers guys